Hey, what's up YouTube? Optic Ashes here bringing you another video and today I'm going to be going over callouts on the map foundation. Now, this is going to be a video series and I'm going to do it one map per video. And basically what I'm going to do is go through the map with you guys and help you come up with callouts or use some of the callouts that my team uses to help you guys be better competitors at these maps. So, we're going to pretend that we're in escalation. Really, we're in TDM with a bot on the other team and two bots on my team to help protect me and we're just going to get go over these callouts. We're going to make up stuff and uh, hopefully this will help you guys out now keep in mind this is not a universal thing you do not have to use these callouts you can come up with your own the main point of callouts is being able to accurately identify an area of the map so that you can communicate it efficiently to your teammates all right so starting off on foundation we are in the spawn area so we can easily just call this spawn and even this can be considered part of spawn or you can call it like vent big vent something like that if it's really important a main thing to keep in mind is that callouts have to uh, be relevant to you know if you're actually going to use them like you don't need to have a call out realistically for this little corner back here because it's hardly ever going to be used in terms of competitive play so we can call this big vent because there will be times that people will be behind this cover um and we can we're going to start off going this direction so on the second half of this map this is actually a hill this can be c or d hill uh teams will also use the name of the power weapon that's sitting there so if you put a hammer burst here or in this case a shock grenade you can say they're at our shock grenade or something like that so another thing a lot of teams will do is call it just by whatever hill would be there if they were on that half so even though if we're on the first half of uh foundation in terms of competitive play a escalation we could call this uh d hill or f hill whichever one it would be why are these bots staring at me like what so you have this cover um uh, as we go down this this is what we call a uh, ramp and this is called u because it's in the shape of a u so it's something that we call it and over here uh we just kind of call this like that cover like you know it's it's pretty easy when you're in a fight in this area to identify the that bot almost killed herself it's pretty easy when you're in a fight in this area to identify like where somebody actually is like you know they're behind the cover over to the right or something like that but if you want to call it like pistons cover or something like that because of these pistons here you're more than welcome to do that this is what we call t and this is actually where the b hill is so we normally call this b or old b or whatever power weapon is there moving over to the other side this map is mirrored so this is also called u we're going to move over into the mid and call this open mid and the reason my team calls this open mid is because as you can see there is no roof above me whereas on this side there actually is a roof above you so this is closed mid and usually there's a power weapon here when it's placed so this is could also be called whatever power weapon is placed here but this is closed mid that's open mid and this can just be called mid box and this is their mid ramp and our mid ramp so it all kind of centers around that mid idea you could also call it orange ramp and green ramp as you can see there is green on this side of the map and orange on this side of the map so if your team is a fan of using colors our team's not really but if your team likes that you could call them by the colors and it might help teams out so moving up the ramp, you have this area over here, which could be called something like host pocket, or you have a big fan underneath you, so you can call it big fan. And then over here, you have another little call out that you need to name. So you could call this one garden, or you could call it uh, uh, crates, wood crates, anything, anything that helps you really identify this area. Um, so, you know, both of those garden because of the plants here, wood crates because of the wood boxes there, anything that really helps you identify it. You could even just call it pocket uh, and call this one big fan, whatever works for you. Moving even further up the ramp, we're now in their kind of spawn area like there was on the other map. So you have spawn like fountain or square or block or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to move this direction. Actually, we're going to move over here real quick and... Uh, my team likes to call this obviously you have the option to call this uh, power weapon but my team actually identifies this area as fences so it, uh, because of these fences right here so we call this area fences or you know we'll call it their home hill or something like that if there is actually a hill there so moving over this direction uh, we call this tree or you can call it you know spawn tree or there's also oh, on the first half a home hill here so you can call it just home uh, or old home whatever works for you in terms of call out you can call it leaves there's a lot of options here as you can see 
this is where we kind of have some uh, notoriously famous callouts that are really unique to our team. So we call the area that I'm standing in right now Mario and the area over there Luigi. And the reason we did that is we originally saw, I think it was Mental who saw that these big pipes were here and it reminded him of the game Mario. So he wanted to call this Mario, but this side was green and we didn't have anything to call that side. So because that side has the big red brick or orangish brick building, we call that side Mario and we call this side Luigi. Moving down here, you have statue and also on second half, there's a, a middle here, here, middle hill here. This is E hill. Uh, there's also a power weapon spawn here. So any of those names will work. And this whole area is called statue because obviously there's a big statue right there. And then going down these stairs, these are called closed stairs because it goes into closed mid. So last call out really that we have is up here. We call this area top tables. And it's simply because there's kind of like this table surface thing here and it's an easy way to identify this top area. So when we call out top tables, we know exactly what we mean. And this whole area is considered that. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully these callouts help you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you're looking forward to the other callout videos for the other competitive maps, make sure to click that subscribe button down below because they will be coming soon. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Go.